Hey everybody, Nick here, also known as The Bearded Housewife, and welcome to another Summer Craft Party video. Today I have a really neat watercolor card for you. This is my Sandcastle watercolor card. I love how the watercolor pens allow us to make this fun, fun design. There's a spot on the inside for your message, and of course I include an envelope as well. Now for this tutorial, I'm gonna be using the Cricut Joy, but you can also use the Cricut Explorer or Cricut Maker machines. At the time of this video, I have not shown you how to use the watercolor pens or watercolor cards. I'll have some tips and tricks at the end. So let's grab all of our materials and get started. Step one. Get the SVG cut file. This project was part of Summer Craft Party 2023. To get the cut file for this project, you can purchase the VIP access pass that includes instant lifetime access to the entire 12 day event, plus bonus cut files, printable worksheets, and commercial licensing. Get more information on the VIP access pass at thebeardedhousewife.com slash SCP23. If you're interested in only this project, you can purchase the individual cut file in my shop. I have links to both options in the description box below. No matter which option you choose, you'll want to make sure you download the cut file, unzip the file, and then we can open up Cricut Design Space. Step two, upload the design to Cricut Design Space. Okay, now that we're in a new project in Cricut Design Space, we can go ahead and click Upload, Upload Image, and Browse. Find where we downloaded the file onto our computer and click Open, and Upload. Highlight the image, and click Add to Canvas. Step 3. Convert score lines in any text. Now that the project has been brought into our canvas, we can go ahead and ungroup the design. Since I'm going to be using the Cricut Joy for this project, I'm going to go to the drop down and select Cricut Joy. I'm also going to delete the envelope layer. For those of you that will be using the Cricut Maker or Cricut Explore series, you can use the envelope file for the envelope for this card. Next, we need to convert all of our different draw lines to the watercolor pens. So I'm gonna start with this middle layer right here. That is going to be our sand layer. So I'm gonna come up to the operation menu and change that to pen. Use the drop down menu. I'm gonna select marker and brown. Next, I think I want the shovel to be red. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to repeat that for the other layers and change the colors to which colors I want that are available with the watercolor markers. Now that all of the colors have been selected and they've all been converted to the pen, I'm going to highlight that group and attach. Now we'll go up to make it. I'm going to be using the card mat for this card. I'm going to be using the smaller size watercolor card, so I'm going to select that. Go ahead and click continue. I'm going to be using the watercolor cards. Okay, I'm gonna get the machine all set up and get the card all drawn together, and I will see you when it's time to start to add the water. Step four, cut out the design.
Step 5. Assemble your card. Okay, so I have my uh, messaging panel already here to go, and I have my card obviously off of the mat, and I have my watercolor pen here, all filled with water. I have paper towel here and then on my lap just in case I need more because you're going to need to do a lot of blotting with this. You want enough water to soak the bristles but you don't want so much that it becomes saturated on the card. So I'm just going to go ahead and start carefully, lightly going along. I'm barely adding any pressure. And I'm trying to pull some of that color into the center. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to try to get off that orange color so we don't have any transfer of color between the different ones. For these different embellishments, what I'm doing first is I'm trying to pull in the color into the center of the embellishments. And now I'll go around the outline. And the same thing for the sandcastle itself. I'm just trying to be very light to almost use the water to turn this brown color into a tannish color. If you can't really see, I'm using the pen around the edge to activate the ink and then pulling from those edges to color where we need to color. All right, so I'm going to let that continue to dry. I can go ahead and mat and layer our messaging panel. So I waited for the watercolor to completely dry. You can see that it kind of has bent or warped to the card a little bit. That's totally normal. That doesn't mean that you did anything wrong. I'll show you how to combat that in just a minute. Go ahead and open up the card base. And let's add our messaging panel to the inside of the card. And there is our fun sandcastle watercolor card. I just love how it gives it such a cool effect on the card. It's really neat. So to combat the warping of the card, what you can do, I would definitely wait until the watercolor has dried because you don't want it to bleed anywhere, is to put it underneath, sandwich it underneath some heavy objects. I have some um, big boxes here in my craft room that I'll go ahead and place this under and I'll let you know what that looks like in just a minute. Wasn't this one so fun? It's like coloring as a kid. I used to love paints and all that when, my, when I was little and this really helps me kind of tap into that. Super, super fun. So as you can see, placing it underneath the heavy books really helped with the warping. Also, once it fits into the envelope, it's going to be just fine for mailing. I told you I was going to give you some tips and tricks, so here we go. Make sure to follow along the outline that is created with the pens in order to grab more color. If you want less color, trace fewer times around the outline. That'll give you more of a watery mix. 
The more that you pull from the outline, the darker the watercolor will be. Make sure to take your time. You don't want to rush this one. Maybe put on some music, put on your favorite show. Just take your time and color that fun scene. One more thing that you want to remember, do not squeeze too hard with that water pen. When I first played around with this, I was squeezing the water out quite a bit and that created a lot of problems within the design because the more water that comes out of that pen, the more will leak out onto your card and cause like cause droplets almost or voids because there's so much water. So you really want to be gentle with the pen. The best part about watercolor cards is that everybody's is going to be different because the way that I colored it is gonna be different than the way that you colored it. So there's gonna have different variations and different textures to it. It's such a fun technique. If you have any questions, I'm here for you, so don't hesitate to ask. If you make this card, I hope that you share it with me. Whether that be through the Facebook group, member group, or through email, I would love to see your creations. Until next time, I'm Nick. I'm the Bearded Housewife, and I will see you at the next Summercraft Party video. Bye!